Even so, I wanted to um, just on the on the note of the releases and stuff, because like your original or your first two releases were on Class A records. Yes. Yeah. But then your latest release, Corrupted Citizens, was on Uncut. Yep. Yeah. So I guess tell us about how the whole Uncut recordings thing came together. Uh, so the, more so the end of the Class A sort of era. It came to that, and that was. Um, basically, like campaign was born of corrupted citizens. Like we were recording at such a, a rate that it came to 2013, we weren't weren't ready to put an album out. But we had these six tracks, all produced by none of them produced by him. Put it that way. Mm. It's like they make a nice little thing on its own. And those joints were originally for the album, the EP. That that EP is made up of. Mm. Yep. So it continued then after that, all of 2014, new tracks. When we got to the point where we were like... And we lost the album. At yeah, that, that happened also prior. We lost a lot of material on the computer, you know. Well, yeah, we lost the whole... We lost the 12 tracks from the album. And the EP <laughs> was the next track we recorded for it. Mm. And it was like a it just fresh didn't, start. It didn't... Um, the so sand wasn't there for us. It was sounded like it was a Brisbane, Melbourne amalgamation, not... Uh, a King's Connected thing, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, basically, it just came to the point where we sat down with Strick and he just said he, that his other projects he was busy with, he didn't have time to mm. take what we had as corrupted citizens. Also, as a job, I think, he, um, he managing the label, being a DJ, um, and and managing and a label owner all at the same time, you can't you can't do it all. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. So I think there had, just had to be some prior, priorities there, and um, Class A is still yeah doing their things. I still hang with Strick, um, you know, all the time, and we'll we'll still work with Strick. Um, so yeah, and basically I think the the flow over to Uncut was a real natural one. It wasn't like we rang up you know can we get on uncut kind of thing it was like we'd ha already been building with uncut trim was privy to the then. album mm. as it was being made actually and i was sending mixes to him, him to get opinions and yeah. all that sort of stuff and um so he knew the heat we were sort of we were, we were doing at the time so i think he he knew that that album needed to to come out basically and we wanted to that to come out That's pretty much <laughs> what it came to yeah we needed like the administrative side yeah. started and Strick's plate was full, man, so it was like, all right, well, we have to, as King's Connected, we have to see it go to the next step, mm. you know, like, we're ready to start album number two. And I'd, I think point. I'd finished the album by that stage before we got to Uncut, so he, Tremont had the album before we'd even come over to Uncut. Yeah, and then, uh, I don't know, it's quite, it's a fucking blessing, too. I won't lie, you know, like, it was... It was if you had your, if two fellas like us, as youngsters listening to what we listen to, could have set the sights for something, it would have been uncut, you know? I was like, that's the fucking premier record label making the music that we At least what we were influenced by yeah. when we were younger, you know? yeah. So all these years later, it, to naturally merge over, it was like, fuck, this is, you know, it's a privilege. It's a mm. privilege because he does a lot of work for us. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you would have seen how yeah T manages and makes makes um, makes the ship run. So you know we, we need that, um, especially as artists. You can't. Some people can hustle and do ev all the jobs and still rap, you know. But we'd like we'd like to just f function on um, on our music and just focus on our music and just and uh, yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> That's just all you want to do is That's just it. rap. If I do something else, then I might not. Get as good at rapid. Like, too <laughs> much attention over here is a risk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, don't. And how's the? How, how do you guys find the album's been received? Good. I think it's been a slow burner, and um, I almost like the fact that it's been a slow burner because um, the what has come from it is like coming down here and and seeing that support. So it's taken a while i think for it to seep into people's cd players and sit there for a mm. while it's not like an album that comes on and, and you just bang your head straight away it's like it, it's it's gonna it creeps Sweet. on you a little bit you know it doesn't start off hitting you in the face it starts off sort of um you know it's got a a, a sort of mysterious 
sort of way into the album, I think, and it takes a little while for you to digest it. Um, I think there's a lot of deep, deep connotations on there that people probably don't pick up on the first couple of listens, and then I think months later, you'll have sort of people going, oh, this is what that line means, and this is what that yeah. line means, and, you know. Last um, night, it needed to, to, to settle to people, and that's why we had people saying, oh, when's the, you know, um, next album coming out? And so it was like, I want it to digest, so by the time we do shows for you, you're going to know those lyrics, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and that was evident. So with Melbourne and Adelaide, having having local boys rap back out lyrics, well, you can't ask for much more than that, really. You know, that's that's the payoff. That's yeah, that's where I was going for us. Like we got jobs to pay bills, so we don't yeah, rap yeah. for money. No. If there was no money, we still would fucking write the same yeah. raps. So yeah. the feedback from individuals, from crowds, that's what's probably the most valuable to us. You know, like seeing fellas come up and recite rhymes and shit, you know, or a point in one track absolutely mm. hits home with a kid here in Adelaide. Exactly, because you know, you know how you feel when you're listening to other people's and how yeah. you feel about it. So if someone can take your stuff in and, and take it on board, then that's, that's, that's the biggest, you know, compliment you can get, really. Yeah. You know, it's already fucking beyond what we ever thought, you know. Yeah. If you're coming to Adelaide and you got 200 in the room and they want to We didn't hear set it, out to be it, buy it, the next fine. Hilltop Hoods, you know, or, or, or want to be some big group. We set out to make dope music and that, that was it, whether people liked it or not, you know. And we just luckily, um, you know, people have liked some of our shit, really. And um, yeah, it, it's resonating still, I think. Mm. People still like... Yeah, man, yeah. we're still listening to it and, you know, you're still finding lines like, oh, I didn't... Pick yeah, up on that yeah. last time. And yeah. Really so we're not a group that's really pulling out, you know, we're not putting out music constantly that's on YouTube and all that sort of stuff where, you know, we, we, we like to stack our music up and pick the best shit and then put it out. You well, know, once yeah. it's out, you can't take it back. Yeah. You know? I think a lot of people forget that or don't yeah. think about that. And I bet it's you a like lot of people have got tracks out that they, they hate uh, or they wish they never put out, you know? This, and was, that's what I was just going to say. Look, fucking, we're probably lucky. I don't have to sit here and say, oh, fucking Mick, the underlayer was fucking shit. I like it, man. I'll do songs from it live if we had enough time, mm. you know? I see plenty of people there fucking drop some shit and then they don't want to talk about it two years later. They quickly drop some more shit. Yeah, it's like, it's like they drop new shit so you can forget about the previous shit. End of the day, you got all this shit under your bed. You wonder why you're not sleeping well. Well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.